My mom always laughs. She says, like, feeding the chickens, right? But there are no chickens on or near this water. No ducks either. And when you've done it for quite a few years, you get pretty good at it. So what on earth is Curtis Faduke doing with his gumboots on and a bucket full of something that looks like feed? Well, with spring just barely on the horizon, you might have a hard time believing this one. And as you can see in here, there's at least 12 or 15. These are very large, inst large larvae. And soon these larvae will be mosquitoes, the insect we love to hate. I don't like them any more than anybody else. I've been kept awake at night by that one. I've also woke up with a you know, mosquito bite in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> Think of Curtis as a mosquito killer. He's at Island View Beach in central Saanich taking samples and treating the water with these tiny granules. You can see with this kind of tussocky grass, it's probably just about impossible to get granules on every part of the surface. And it's probably the only place in Canada where anyone is thinking about the annoying pests this early in the year. Well, I feel the key for that program is what we found if it starts later in the year, by then a lot of them have already hatched. So they've kind of missed the cycle in the sense of the treatment. So it's trying to be a little more proactive earlier on. And the other, other thing too, we're unique in the sense of our climate. We're a lot milder than the rest of Canada. The mosquitoes that people see in, in May and June have probably hatched out anywhere from six to eight weeks before that. So typically mosquito control programs would start up about middle of April, depending on mother nature and, and temperatures. This abatement or control program is all about getting them when they're still in the larvae stage. A single mosquito can lay up to 300 eggs and can take anywhere from five to 21 days to hatch, depending on the water temperature. Mosquitoes can be the worst is out of the salt marsh habitats and, and coastal wetlands is what you have here. You have a mix of brackish water, salt water, fresh water. The product is called Vectobac. It's made up of ground up corn cobs, paraffin wax, and a bacterial coating. And when the mosquitoes eat the bacterial crystals, it actually burns a hole in their stomach. And it's very specific to mosquito larvae. So it doesn't affect any of the other natural predators that would occur in a pond. So either diving insects, fish, those type of things, no impact. The mosquito control program started about 20 years ago because of complaints from local residents. But it wasn't until about six years ago that Central Saanich got the itch to take a more proactive approach. It's just been a gradual process back in, I think it was 2007, 2008, we did a surveillance program where we had the contractor do a fair bit of mapping. So they identified a bunch of the areas. So that gave us a bit more data along with monitoring. The eastern edge of central Saanich from Island View Beach to the Sayout First Nation is being treated. And the buzz from central Saanich residents is that the number of mosquitoes is down. For the most part, our service requests have dropped dramatically. And all in all, I, I, you know, I believe most people have been fairly satisfied with the, with the results. There's a great amount of satisfaction to it. When you come by and you take a dip sample and you find 100 larvae in a 300 milliliter dipper and then you come back tomorrow or in a couple hours and there's nothing. It's very satisfying. But of course, the program isn't free. It's taking somewhat of a bite out of local taxpayers. The cost for one year, $55,000 split between Central Saanich, the CRD, and the Sayout Nation. In Central Saanich, I'm Nikki Iwanishan.